Now, today we're looking at the concentric cycle method of drawing an ellipse, given that our major axis is 100 millimeter and our minor axis is 60 millimeter. So all what we we'll do, we we'll draw our major axis and our minor axis. Major axis is 100 millimeter. Now, major axis 100 millimeter. What we do is that we take 50 millimeter to the left, 50 millimeter to the right. Let's put a point here. Let's put a point here. Now, this is our major axis of 100 millimeter then our minor axis is given to us as 60 millimeter so take 30 upward 30 downward is 30 upward and then 30 downward so we're putting our major and our minor axis we call this 3 no? Let me just leave it. So we've got our major and minor axis. So is it pin at the midpoint? Stretch it down to the major one of the point of the major axis. Then one to one of the point of the major axis. Then you what? Draw a cycle. Second. Then to the minor axis, you extend, which is 60 millimeter, so 30 upward, 30 downward makes it what 60 millimeter. As a minor, Sorry for that. So we've succeeded in drawing our major, our major of 100 millimeter, and then a minor of 60 millimeter. The next step now, we divide these circles into 12 equal number of parts using our set square of 30 degree and then 60 degree. Now place it this way. Then we'll rule. Then push it this way. Then we we'll invert it this way. Finally, this way. See, measure all the passes to the midpoint. So we number, number this as one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten, twelve. I've succeeded in drawing our uh, circles, the major and the minor 
succeeded in dividing it into 12 equal number of parts. Now we project this, then what just the same way, seven, this is 8 and 10. We join them together. Show the laps. Join them together. Now this is 11 and 8. We also join them together. Now, this is 1 and then 5. Also join them together perfectly. So I also don't have any mistakes. Now, this is 2 and 4. We join them also together. We cross checked it now. We find out that they meet very perfectly. Now we project this line horizontally where it hits the minor axis. Project it this way. So let me use my red pen. Maybe it hits the line, we stop. It hits the line, we stop. No we'll put a point. A point. Now we we'll also do that for two and ten. Maybe it hits the line, we stop. Maybe it hits this line, we we'll also stop. Then we can put a point here and here. Now also we'll do that for four and eight. You can see it here. Four and eight. This is for four. Put a point. Then put a point. Put a point here. Also put a point here. Now we'll do that for also for five and then seven. Five and then for seven, in the meet we put a point here. Put the point for clarity purpose. We outline this very properly so that it's very neat. Mm, you can see very well so now we're using these points over here for the minor axis here and here or for the major axis so the point here and here now each point remember we have our point here our point here our point here point here also a point here point here here and here now remember we create our circles major and minor then we divide into 12 equal number of parts we project it downward then vertically horizontally at the point they meet that is where we're interested in now we we'll trace our ellipse. Very perfect trace. That's what I'm doing over here.
and you can see we've succeeded in making it looking happy then now I decided to do it this way because most institutions they don't like you tracing so I just decided to make a little bit sketch but it will look like a free hand now most institutions use uses free hands from the institution I came from they use free hand so Yeah, using free hand animation is very neat. Trying to be careful so that my work will not be rough. Now I've succeeded in drawing my ellipse. One thing you must take note here is that all in red pen. Are construction lines only those only the one in an ellipse the outline of the ellipse which is in black that's an outline thank you for watching give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel give me a th thumbs up and then you subscribe to my channel thank you